Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about Bitcoin's price, what's gonna happen, should you trade, what should you do? Uh, obviously, thank you so much for liking the video, thank you so much for subscribing, the support has been amazing, but what we're gonna be looking today is something very simple. Now, the first factor we're gonna be seeing, what is gonna be happening with Bitcoin in the future? The, I made this channel because, you know, there's a lot of theories. What's, what will happen to Bitcoin? But Bitcoin price is returning to 40k, but will shorts have their revenge? An analysis promises an interesting few days as volatility firmly re-enters the Bitcoin market and sentiment transforms. So right now, Bitcoin has been going crazy and hopefully, you know, we're all hoping it stays that way. But uh, we could be seeing a steep sell-off. So this is what this article is saying, as bulls and bears waged a tug of war for hard one higher ground. So we want to see Bitcoin go to 100,000 because let's be honest here, a lot of us are holding crypto and a lot of th that would make people very happy if you want to get started by bit trading. There's a exclusive bonus for you, $1,600 of a bonus deposit. A lot can happen from current Bitcoin price levels, data from Cointelegraph, Markets Pro and Trading Viewed showed Bitcoin USDT reaching 40,000 overnight, selling a rare eight straight green daily candles in a row. So this is really good. Look at this. Beautiful. Simply beautiful. Investors have been initially skeptical of the strength of the initial rally, which began on Monday after a snag surge past the 40% mark, followed by a roughly 9% correction. For Sam Trabuco, a qualitative crypto trader at Alamada Research, such behavior of this little surprise based on the previous rallies, but the next few days should be tense so prepare yourself we're going in for a big a big change a lot can happen from here bitcoin had the stock beta so the potential of it can remain beholden to that and there has been historically been round number resistance maybe causing it to struggle staying 40,000. he concluded in a series of tweets on monday but 40,000 is a local max so there's a lot of potential for shorts put on much lower to get liquidated if we rally for even a little more so uh, if the bears will get wrecked, we're going to be seeing a massive bull run. We'll see. It's an interesting next few days, and I'm sure I get on up on sleep. So we get, I, you know, no one is sure about what's going to happen next. Now, explaining Binance sells level on major exchange like Binance, meanwhile, showed 39,000 growing as Bitcoin's nearest support level with 41,000 likewise hardening as a resistance. So if we can get Bitcoin to 41,000, that would be simply crazy. But fear and greed rises to levels not seen since May. So people are afraid right now that we're going to be seeing a huge drop. And to crypto fear and greed, fear has all drained from the minds of all market participants with its measure gauge of reaching 50 or neutral territory for the first time since May Bitcoin price. The index has doubled in just two days and the last week scored just 10 of 100 corresponding to the market sentiment of extreme fear. So we are improving. You know, this indicator is showing that the market is now finally improving. As you can see over here, look at this beautiful price. You know, uh, right now would be a nice way to get started trading crypto. Link in the description below. This could be nonetheless room to grow. April's all-time highs were accompanied by an extreme greed score of 95 to 100. So, uh, yeah, that's definitely good news. But if we check the prices over here, we can see, you know, the market is slowly but surely it's improving. So we see, you know, another green candle over here and the bulls are rallying up because the bulls are ready. And if we check this on the long run, you know, it might not seem like much because obviously we're seeing that. But this is now seven candles in a row. For seven days, we're seeing, you know, these green stages, maybe even nine days now. And a lot of people are really excited about this. Obviously, you know, when we saw this before, we saw, you know, maybe only two days. We saw two green candles growing here. And then we saw, you know, two days and then a another red day. And again, we saw two red days. Here we saw a green day that went from 49,000 to about, what, 61,000. And instead of just saying one red day, I do think we could be seeing some vitality because last time we saw this, you know, so many green candles, which basically means the green candles mean that there's, you know, a lot of purchases every single day coming through. You know, the market is green now. And this basically means, so if we check over here, that I do think we could be seeing a sell-off. So we could be seeing, you know, shortly falling a bit. Uh, then we could actually be seeing a huge rebound once again. And uh, I think the market could be stable. So we saw this big sell-off. I don't think this will happen, honestly, because uh, it just 
just not likely. It's it's just, you know, there's so much support right now, obviously. Uh, if you want to get started trading and do your own research and get positive rewards, like really good ones, $1,600, then all you have to do is click the link in the description below. But yeah, we saw a steep sell-off over here and we saw, you know, a, a price increasing. So it could be that we're actually going to be growing. Because if you check the market over here, like look at this Bitcoin up 5%. We need to see Bitcoin at 41,000 and then we can finally see the market by itself improve for that. Because uh, look at this, look at these beautiful rebounds and these steep drop-offs don't mean anything because in a few days later, they just improved. So the last seven days have been crazy. You know, uh, institutions are now buying in, I think, because uh, obviously who has so much money to manipulate or not really manipulate but just invest so much into the market. So if we check the last seven days, we can see the trading volume over here. This means you can see 19 billion over here. Or wait, 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 wait more. Um, so we can see the volume of 37 billion per day. Um, and if we check over here, you know, in a single day, an institution, it seems like, or a very, very large whale has put in uh, probably about 3 billion or so. This this is definitely a big investment. You know, someone just bought up all of that because uh, that's a lot of money. And I don't think, you know, an average trader or holder has that much money. So definitely something is going behind the scenes that nobody is expecting. What happens next? Well, another institution sold off at this price. So we saw an institution selling off, but the trading volume did not stop. So large trading volume means that the price will go up. It's usually a positive indicator. Here, we're not seeing that. So we could be seeing... You know, a small dip. Um, I definitely do think we're looking very good, especially in September. Uh, the, all the institutions are now preparing up because uh, institutions are finally offering what they can provide. If we can see Bitcoin back at 60,000, prepare yourself for huge, huge levels of growth. This is going to be pretty awesome. This is going to be great. Honestly, you know, we are all expecting Bitcoin to rise back up. Bitcoin's price prediction for today is looking Kind of positive, not gonna lie. But uh, don't be afraid if we see a small dip. Thank you so much for liking the video, for subscribing, and talk to you next time. Peace, everyone.